very warm special day guys i hope you're all doing so well welcome to today's episode and we are still dealing with analysis of infundis Zemboni, dr Zerzakhatebe. but today we're just going to look at this episode when he actually prophesied about the african revival so this video was recorded i think before 2020 actually it was recorded in 2017 between 2017 and 2019 but it was not recorded after 2019 yes so it was recorded before covid 19 before 2020 yes but 20, between 2017 between those years 2017 18 there yeah so he prophesied about the african revival so it talks about there's going to be a time where in black people our youth is a vocal and be aware of our African indigenous spirituality. So let us watch this video, guys, and properly analyze it. In a, yes, one, two, three, go. <laughs> yeah, impacting the MC. Nanom Sidings, this is how she sees when a band boogie impacting the MC. In a short space of time, go go revive it. In a few minutes, you will hear now certain people say the Kulman African religion, Bas Mangas. It shows you in a short space of time, it shows you years to come. Girl, when you sungulum lang party semun, the awareness. It shows you guti. People baza uvugi, you see it is a vuga. It shows you. Who's our corner? My every corner is changing is a shy Africa. African revival. Your prophet. Who's the African revival? The revival is a visa, the hidden truths of Africa at Dallas Fitway for years. And I am part of that, mm. and I'm leading that in Africa. I'm leading that. Yeah, guys. Oh, wow, 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 wow. I think you have heard by yourself, Goti, what that was seeing here. Mm. So he talks about African revival. He talks about that time that is going to come wherein people will know about their history, especially black people, a couple Africans in particular. Utata here talks about African revival, which means I'm agreeing as of as of as of like, like the truth will come out of Guti. Actually, what is happening around us in terms of our identity as Africans? He talks about the hidden truths. A Dallas feature for years, which means there's going, to, there's going to be a time where in the African truths that have been hidden for many years will come out. Which means in in this case, he talks about the concept. Let me just say generally, and Kiri and I, he he specializes in spirituality. He specializes in teaching about religion and African spirituality. Okay. So in this case, I think he's talking about black people knowing where did Christianity comes from, why, and how did it come into existence here in Africa. We, we, we are already in possession of that information, Noguti. Why did religion come in Africa? We already know that. We, understand, we now understand why religion was introduced to us as black people. And it was hidden it is what it, it was a hidden truth to, to us religion was familiar to us religion was something that we know Koti maybe or that we believe Koti we were born with it or it was born here in africa but during these years between 2020 and now we are now getting to understand what is religion what is christianity in particular different forms of religion and including Christianity, Islam and others. We now understand where do they come from and especially Christianity 
what is the reason for Christianity to be here in South Africa, Kapo in Africa, or in the whole world? Why religion was formed? Why do we know? Why do we uh, pray to this guy called Jesus? We now understand who is Jesus. We now understand what is Bible. We now understand who is Christ, who is who, 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 what is Christianity actually, guys. So that here, I think his prophecy came to true because after his prophecy, like uh, voluntarily, kapo involuntarily, people started talking about African indigenous spirituality involuntarily. So, like there was that consciousness especially during the times of COVID-19 there was that consciousness that hit every black child around the world and I think Udadala was on point and he last mentioned Okuti he's gonna be part of that and he's gonna even lead that African revival and I can literally see Okuti indeed he's telling the truth like you can see if you can literally check the revelation spiritual home we can start from the, the name, the Revelation Spiritual Home. It was previously known as the Revelation Church of God. So it, it changed from Church of God to Spiritual Home. That shows the transition the transition between a Christian church to a fully African indigenous spiritual church. Kapo, spiritual home. She means the church thing yeah, that includes a Bible at the Revelation Spiritual Home, they no longer practice or they no longer mix with the Bible a couple Christianity. It shows Okuti indeed Udata saw it coming. Ubuni Lokutila, there's gonna be this change. Through his prophecy, it shows there's gonna be a change. And Abantu were not aware. Abantu were not aware Okuti. Very soon is the change. I will be conscious of our surroundings, we'll be conscious of our origins, we'll be conscious of where do spirituality knocks into our lives where religion or christianity in particular knocks in our lives or where does it comes from in general so we see the growth of the revelation spiritual home in terms of the way Udada teaches he no longer uses bible as a point of reference he now receives spiritual revelations from easy dialogue so more yeah guys that that's the difference between the the revelation church of god and the revelation, the revelation spiritual home the, the only the most difference between the two sides is that the revelation the, the revelation the revelation church of god was mixing christianity and african indigenous spirituality now the, the revelation spiritual home is purely practicing the african indigenous spirituality guys that's the difference between the two uh, uh, centers, the two sectors, like during the time of Church of God, now spiritual home. There, that's the difference. They don't know how to use the Bible. The Ubaba receives spiritual revelations from Italozomoy. So, indeed, the prophecy of Udata became also the day, or it became true. Now we, I'm, I'm part of those people who are now aware of why we are here in terms of our belief systems. And I'm growing through Izambu Lozembo and Dr. Zulas and I am now self-conscious. I'm now self-aware. Wabu guys, I'm now growing spiritually and I'm now embracing myself i'm now embracing my nature i now love myself because of the teachings of him born doctors of Khatebe with regards to the african indigenous spirituality i've learned so much since the time i i joined i supported the revelation spiritual home because i mean i only supported or i started knowing and joining the revelation spiritual home in 2021 oh, and through those years, I've been growing day in, day out, day in, day out. I'm becoming this better person. I'm, I'm, I'm becoming this better version of myself in the outside world or when I meet people. 
I, I embrace who I am. I embrace my nature. I embrace my uh, my thinking capacity. I embrace the way I am. Oh, guys, I no longer uh, undermine myself as an individual because I know who I am. I know where I come from. I know my history. I know my identity. I now no longer see good. My ancestors um, are demons oh, because I understand my relation with my ancestors. Oh, while before I was a spiritual person, while before I joined the Revelation Spiritual Home, I nearly, I nearly disbanded my ancestors. But I was saved by the Revelation Spiritual Home. I was saved by Uta Dukhatebe through his teachings. Uta are, are not demons. Our ancestors are not foreign to us. They are in us. We are there. Oh, guys. So, so far I've learned some of the things and I'm going to still share much more uh, teachings that, that, that I've learned through the process. Oh, guys. And I'm enjoying the process. I'm enjoying, I'm enjoying the experience. I'm enjoying the life that I've chosen for myself. The life of joining the teachings that I've learned. Doctors of the Khatebe, guys. Yeah, so for now, guys, Nyabonga Kolo, and I hope you're gonna enjoy your day. And Nyabulela Kolo for watching this video up until the end. Utatu Khatebe is the voice of the nation. Utatu Khatebe is indeed leading this African revival in the current moment. And city Utata Marakobeke, Asebenzela Ma Africa. As sees a good team, Superman and Nathan Africa in this Emoyen way to the same company way to Nitty, Mako Mako Tetu Miyama, Kuzo Kai, Su. Come on, come on, come on,